Hey, David Clark here. Um, I wanted to just take a couple minutes and um, share some thoughts about um, limits and uh, self-created limits and, and how running helps kind of break down those limits and, and helps us not only become better people, in my estimation, but uh, better humans. Um, you know, I think it's no secret that uh, we all know we have you know, a greater power inside of ourselves um, than we give ourselves credit for. And um, I think that's evident in um, lots of our own personal experience we've had, you know, whether it's the person who, you know, had never run before and didn't, didn't think they could run and, you know, they find themselves at the finish of a 5K, a, a marathon, a 100 miler, you know, just kind of shaking their head in, in disbelief um, because they, their limits and their, their ideas of what they could accomplish were so much shorter than what they were actually able to do. And I think that goes a step farther or deeper. Um, and to roll that back a little bit, you know, I think that as human beings, as we evolved, you know, we, we have something in society now that, that we didn't have um, back in, in the earliest days of, of our journey. And that's comfort and, and spare time even. And a, as we, you know, first started our evolutionary journeys, we were you know, hunters and gatherers, and we were surviving the elements, and we had to be constantly moving and fighting for shelter, and and uh, there was no such thing as, as free time. And, you know, that concept kind of came around as we, you know, started to, to form civilizations and and societies and, and work in groups, and, and um, you know, that, that pushed us forward in the process, and it was certainly a good thing, but you know, kind of the, the side effect of that was, was free time and comfort. And over thousands and thousands of years, we kind of pre-wired our brains to this concept of comfort and this, this concept of, of limits. And, you know, they're probably in there for good reason. They, you know, they're, they're a protection mechanism. They, they save us from doing really well, some of us, save us from doing really stupid shit. But they are in there, and they're, they're kind of buried deep in our brains, these limits, these concepts of what we can do. And, you know, we know in the world of theoretical physics that the laws that we know to be absolutely concrete aren't even that at all. And, you know, for example, the, the strongest forces we have, like electromagnetivity and strong nuclear and weak nuclear forces, gravity, all these things that seem so solid, all dissolve and and all go away when we go down to a quantum level you know space and time and and reality don't really exist as we know it on that level and yet we see it and we see how solid it looks in the big picture and i would submit that that is the same thing going on internally in human beings that the person who experiences something like running a hundred miles for example and their body starts to to break down and that all these limits kind of start presenting themselves, you know. Um, but if we stay in the game long enough and we break through that barrier, new possibilities start to exist. And I think when we get through that pain barrier, when we get to the other side, we focus our entire existence down to, to one thing. And the human mind is capable of so much when it has just one thing to do. And that's tough because keeping with that example of 100 miles, you know, when you start a 100 mile race, you have lots of crap on your mind, you know, aid stations and, and splits and goal times and people counting on you and, and glory and buckles and all this kind of crap. And, um, you know, you keep pushing it down and it keeps coming back up and you push it down and it comes back up. And eventually you reach this, reach this kind of, um, you know, tipping point or explosion point. It's like the big bang of either you fold under those limits or you somehow push through that evolutionary wall that tells you you can't do it and when you break onto that side it's all gone you know those limits are gone because you've given yourself totally to the process and now the only resources that are being allocated are resources that that uh, support that goal, that getting to that finish line. And it's really difficult, it's really uncomfortable to push through those forces because they're so deep. You know, they're, you're fighting tens and thousands of years of evolutionary programming. But, you know, for the person that's willing to push through brick wall after brick wall, 
um, it's my guess that uh, those limits all eventually fade. And, and maybe the, uh, the real question is, you know, not what we're capable of, but what is it that we're not capable of? You know, can we transcend everything? Can we push through every barrier? Can we push through the need to sleep, to eat, to die? Can, are all of those things possibilities for us? Can we break through all of those constructs of consciousness and become pure energy, pure potential, and, and pure movement, and, and pure, perfect spirit? So those are my thoughts on running and ultra and the universe. So hope you have an awesome day. Uh, think on that on your next run. David Clark here. We are Superman on Twitter.